All right, so these are some of the Mac apps that I use on a daily basis. Hopefully you will find them useful too. Uh, they work both on the Apple Silicon as well as the older generation Intel Macs. So let's go through them without any particular order. First app is Raycast, and you may have heard of Alfred or Mac Spotlight Search, and it's very similar. Uh, it's an app launcher, and you can do a few things extra. Um, I think it's probably best to show you a quick demo. So let's just minimize this, and you can launch it. Um, let's say you want to launch uh, Visual Studio Code, and then you can launch Firefox. The neat thing is here, you can just set it to, let's say, the right half. And here you can say left half, which is pretty cool. Um, you can also do simple conversions. For example, let's do 10 centimeters and in inches. Um, you can also do two gigabytes in megabytes. Um, time zones as well, which is quite handy. So let's say it is for almost 430 BST in PSD. Um, it goes even further and saying, right, um, you can add, oops, four days from now. You can do date calculations, Bitcoin, um, currency conversion. Oops. You can also do currency conversions. So let's do uh, 10 GBP in USD. You can even go as far as Giphy searches, uh, which is pretty nice and handy. Uh, who doesn't like a James Franco Giphy? How about Nick Cage? God, I wish I had that here. And randomly, you can also just have some confetti. Yay! So the next app is called Stats. Uh, you've probably heard of iStats menu. Very similar, where you have statistics on your menu bar. This one is free, however, um, you can customize and configure it how it looks. I've just got a few uh, percentages on my menu bar as you click through each one. It has a bit more further detail on top processes. Also has a nice battery indicator here as well, um, telling you whether it's charging or not and the battery cycles it has. There is another app very similar called Yule. I think that's how you pronounce it. This one, I used on my older Intel MacBook Pro, and I think it's a great app. Unfortunately, it's not supported on the Apple Silicon, hence why I'm currently using this one. So the next app is Lulu. It sort of acts as a firewall. Actually, it is a, it is a firewall. And as an app tries to connect the internet, let's say if I wanna launch Chrome, it'll give you a little prompt to let you know, hey, this is about to connect the internet. You can either allow it or deny it. If you've allowed it, Lulu won't bother you again. If you've denied it, then you'll see it's uh, or any of the rules that Lulu won't give access to that application. You can also see the rules here as well. I think it's really useful for apps where they're running in the background, they want to access the internet. If you don't recognize them, you can block them. But if you do, you can just allow them. It's a neat little app that runs in the background. So the next one is Numi. And I think this is a very cool calculator app. And there's just as you saw in the Raycast app, you can do simple calculations and conversions. You can do the same here. The neat thing about this, it's sort of like a scratch pad where you can do your calculations. You can do simple conversions, uh, currencies, you can do time calculations as well, percentages, and you can do things like this where you can add a variable or a name to an amount and you can do simple things like book plus desk plus table, which is pretty nice. But you can go a bit further and add some currencies if you fancy. And then you can also say, hey, that's in US dollars, please. Pretty neat calculator. Okay, another useful tool is Screen Brush. And it's really useful, especially for when you're doing screen sharing on video calls and you just wanna highlight something, you can use a quick highlight tool to let your other colleagues know that you're trying to highlight something on the screen. And the next app is called Dat Weather Do, and it's just a little weather menu bar that sits very minimal on your menu, and it tells you the weather. That's that's it. Another app, as the name suggests, amphetamine keeps your Mac awake and prevents from sleeping. 
Why is this useful? Well, at times you might be working on, say, a presentation and you don't want the screensaver to kick in and you're doing a presentation or you don't want the screen to go dim. You can just go into amphetamine and just choose the time you want to have the Mac stay awake rather than playing around with your system preferences. Another neat app is the YouTube Music app. This is open source, I believe, and developed by the community. And this is just not Macs as well. It does work on Windows and Linux. And it has a really nice UI, similar to Spotify. Uh, it has playlists already picked out for you. And I think it's a nice little application if you do enjoy listening to YouTube music. All right, so those are the Mac apps I wanted to share with you. If there are any other Mac apps that you know or love, feel free to drop them in the comment down below. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one.